What's going on everybody? There's sizzle and pudding coming at you right here from our backyard. If you're new to the channel, we are a Florida fishing couple getting into hunting. <laughs> yeah, today is we're gonna start our fur bearing journey into hunting. Darcy's hunting backyard squirrels. They're really a huge pest around here, Darcy. They are. The gray squirrel, of course, which they're all over the continental United States, but they really mess up my garden. They get into my potted plants, they put their seeds in there, and they end up germinating and destroying my potted plants. They also hide their seeds in the boats, trucks, everything else. It's time to get rid of them. But <laughs> it totally is. And they're also delicious. So at the end of the video, I'm going to cook them up for you. Let's show you what Darcy's working with here. Yeah, let's show you today exactly what we're hunting with. And I'll turn that camera around real quick. Let me get down low so I can show you here. But th this is not sponsored by the way, so I'm just gonna tell you right off the bat, this is a Gamo air rifle, Gamo Swarm Fusion Gen 2 break barrel air rifle, okay? So there's a magazine that goes right in here. You take that magazine out, it's actually really simple. I've got two different magazines and break barrel means you break it like that and then lock it in. And so you have a magazine that you can put 10 shots into. That's my little magazine. I've got two of them here, as you can see. This is a Cal 22. And the pellets that we're using today are from Gamo. That's the Gamo Red Fire Pellet, Extreme Accuracy. And these are the only pellets I've been running through this particular air rifle, guys. That's what people recommended online. You can see that real red tip on it. Very deadly, all right? And this thing is deadly accurate now that I've run a few hundred bullets through it. So let's get back to the hunt. I definitely hit that guy. He fell out. That's what I thought. He's hurt. Come over here. Come what? over here so you can film him if you want. Oh, yeah. That's dead. I feel like he would be moving. So do I. He knows he's been being shot out. Like, I think he's dead up there. Okay. Yeah, his eyeballs are not moving. Hey, hey, hey. Yo. He's dead. I got him. I don't think I should blow him up again. Why didn't you get him out? Get the gaff. He looked bigger over here, but. All right, looks like Darcy got him. He's in the, t looks like we see him in the tree and he doesn't look like his eyes aren't even blinking. <laughs> We're gonna be using a mango picker to get him out. Uh, but he jumped the tree and he just went totally silent like he was hiding from us. We found him, made a bunch of noises and stuff. He's not moving, so I'm just, I don't wanna shoot him again. Why? We're gonna eat him. Let's go. He would be moving right now. These yeah. squirrels are very... Go get them. <clears throat> Snakes! <laughs> this is snake habitat, so I'm like freaky. Get in there. My first squirrel kill! Check it out, guys! Super cool! <sighs> I can't believe I actually got this guy. He was darting so fast all over the place. It looks like there was a shot in the foot right there. Hmm. Not sure what took him out. But he's, he's done there. I got him. Yeah. <laughs> That's what counts. First kill, first fur-bearing animal, actually. And you have to have a legal license to do this. And you have to look up your regulations in your area because gray squirrels do have a season. So that's a, a smaller sized one, but definitely one we're gonna eat. Nice. Crazy that he was just up there, dead. Cool, all right, let's keep hunting. Let me push right here. There he is. He's going up. Try to get him. Yeah, I aimed for his head. I mean, that was all I could see of that, of that squirrel hanging out in the tree. He had a seed in his mouth. So I was aiming for the head, but I, it's pretty windy. It's 15, 20 knots out here today. I'm a little cold. There he is. I've ever seen. That was
wasn't a squirrel, right? No. Oh my god. <laughs> I know I didn't hit that thing. He just got scared out of the thing, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Holy smokes. All right, just, just to recap, we came out here to shoot a squirrel. Shot the squirrel. Yeah. He fell out. He ran up a tree. Yeah. Shot him again. Now he's dead. Looks like he's dead just sitting there in a tree. Yeah. And somehow a mouse fell out. It was like a baby. Uh, I, I thought it was like, I don't know what it was. And so I, <laughs> then the thing chased the mouse, scared the hell out of us. Yes. Yes. I got one shot and he came out of the tree like it's just... Yeah, I didn't, it's crazy that these palm trees harbor so much life. It's crazy. <laughs> that thing was you see so this weird. mouse? It's like, like, I got it on camera. I'm pretty sure it's on camera. I'm sure it's on camera. Crazy. It didn't have a squirrel tail, so that ain't, that ain't no squirrel. All right, should I try and get this guy in the tree? Yeah, get him out of the tree. All right, so he's stuck up in this tree. We don't really know how to get him out, but um, yeah. if we get him out, we'll let you know. But he's dead in the tree. Yep. And this particular palm, do you know what kind of palm tree that is? This is a pineapple palm tree. Pineapple palm tree. The spikes that are closest to the uh, stem of the palm tree, they're super sharp. They're like razor sharp. Like it's dangerous for us to get up there. Yeah, well, plus we don't have a ladder to get up there. Yeah. All right. All right, let's see what happens. But uh, he's dead up in the tree. All right, guys, it's the middle of the day right now. There's two squirrels hanging out right over here at the corner of the house. And they're used to humans, so they really don't run. But I usually see them in the mornings and the evenings. So let's load the gun. Let me be quiet and hunt them. Let's go. Crap. Oh my God. I got that guy. Done. <gasps> nice. One shot, one kill. Oh man, now I gotta find him. They blend right in. It's so crazy how like animals in South Florida just blend in right to the surroundings. So I literally gotta crawl in here and find them. I hope there's no snakes. Get your boots on. I know. It's still freaking. <laughs> this is an old trailer that has a ton of grows all over it. No, it's brand new. It's oh, my, he's right underneath me. It's my brand new jet ski. <laughs> he's right underneath me. Okay, found him. Yeah, your brand new jet ski. Your brand get, new jet ski. Get in there. <laughs> he's right here. There he is. Heck yeah. Okay. We did it. <laughs> All right, guys. I think this might be a teenager. I've seen a lot bigger ones in our area, but there was just two hanging out over there and they looked a little on the smaller side to me. But it's just crazy, like looking at the padding on their actual feet and stuff. Like they just are meant to climb trees. It's the coolest, craziest thing. Look at that. But ew, something's coming out of his uh, butt there. That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when you get um, shot? But yeah, so that was a good shot. I'm still aiming for the head, but unfortunately I didn't get him in the head. But they're so fast. They just started around in the trees and they knew we were hunting them. So I um, wanted to pull them away because we're close to our neighbors over there. We just want to be respectful. But yeah, that's awesome. Second squirrel kill for me. Well, actually third squir squirrel kill, but uh, let's go ahead and get this beautiful guy cleaned up. All right, guys, we're just gonna dive right into it and clean this squirrel I just put to sleep just a short while ago. And I learned that it's actually best to clean a squirrel right after they've been dead. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And I also wanna tell you guys, especially for you OGs that have been around here for many years, you guys know that I am a fisherwoman. I'm not really officially a hunter, but I just wanna show you that you can go out there and do whatever your heart desires. Like I just killed a squirrel in my backyard. I'm gonna clean them, I'm gonna cook it. I've never done any of this in my entire life. And I'm just gonna show you guys the process. So we're just gonna go along for the journey with it. I literally watched a couple YouTube videos right before we got live with you here. And that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so you also would really appreciate it if you guys drop comments down below to help me in the future 
on the best way to clean squirrels because I'm just going to learn, take one of the techniques I learned online today. So let's go. We're going to use my Smith Bait Breaker to knife, knife. And I know there's a bootstrap way where you cut behind the tail and rip up, but I'm gonna try something a little different. Um, so what we're gonna do is make a cut right on his back here in the middle, if I can. It's a very sharp blade. There we go. Make a cut into the skin. I'm probably gonna make it like just halfway down on either side. There we go. See that's cut right there in the middle. And then I think, actually I gotta break that skin a little more. There we go. Now that skin is separated from the meat, I can see it. Beauty. All right, now, I'm literally just gonna get my fingers in there. I'm gonna try to separate this. Oh my gosh, he's warm. Ugh. Hold on, there's a little more skin right there. Like I said, I've never done this, guys, so just bear with me. That's where a shot went in. That's why he's all bloody. Mm -hmm. All right, you can see it's working, but I didn't really get a good grip there. Mm. Maybe not the best way to do this, but it's working. And once you flay, you know, once you clean something a few times, then you get the hang of it, but it's gonna take me a lot longer for my first time, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh. <laughs> Lord! <laughs> <laughs> this is not my favorite thing to do right now, but this is how you become a hunter, right? I feel like I'm trying to separate a little bit of the skin. It's so tough. It's crazy. Definitely punctured organs. Yeah. Yeah. Messy squirrel. Messy, warm squirrel. That wasn't the great way to do it. Next time, I'll definitely try a different cleaning method. It is coming right off with the knife, too. Helping myself along here. Basically, I'm just going to make a circle around the belly so I can rip both sides off. There we go. It's coming, it's coming. Good. That's fine. Just cut it. Cut what? You got, I mean, he's off there. You're good. I know, but now I got to do this. There's like nothing to grab now. The grab by his chest. Okay, guys. So you, now I know why you have to shoot a squirrel in the head because uh, <laughs> that was a direct gut shot, and all his guts kind of came out as I was ripping him apart. So that was like not too fun. So kind of did it backwards here. Got his guts out initially. Got the back half of the tail off. Now I just got to get the head off, and I don't even think I need to really. I mean, I'm not going to eat his head here, but I, now I can just grab him. You can see his guts are out. You can see his back straps there and his legs and all that good stuff. And I'm just gonna see if he doesn't fall apart right now. He should be more intact. But like I said, the first time for everything, there's nothing wrong with this method. I just wanna show you guys that you can do it too. It is just not coming off. I think they eat the brains too, but they do, I, I think you just cut the head off. Eat the brains. That's like a delicacy. Look you want face. the brains? <laughs> We can skip it the first time. Yeah, let's skip it the first. <laughs> let's skip it the first time. It's okay. I think it's okay not eating their brains. Okay, we did it. Took a lot longer than a normal person, but again, this goes to show you that you guys can do this too. All right, so we got our intact squirrel here. Not bad. Not too bad, right? Looks pretty good actually. I was just a little freaky. I'm sorry. Like he was really warm, and like his blood was warm, and I'm just not used to that. I'm used to cold fish. So, all right. But we're done with that. Let's get him in the house and uh, get him cooked up, right? And see what else we can get for dinner. Pretty wild. Thanks a lot, Dar Sizzle, for cleaning up your first squirrel. And welcome, guys, to another edition of Cooking with Puddin. This is I can't believe you guys got me to eat a squirrel. Addition, what are we doing? All right, pretty excited to get into this hunting thing actually. Uh, we're gonna be documenting the journey, guys, so uh, stay tuned. And if you're just getting into hunting, letting you guys know that anybody can do it. If we can do it, you can do it too. So, first time cooking a squirrel, obviously. And of course, I went on YouTube and I looked up how to do it. And you can see I got all the ingredients spread out here pretty much. I'm just doing a simple fry. I know we can make people love to make gravy out of it, put a little biscuits, potatoes, whatever. Today we're just gonna fry it and eat it. See how it goes. And uh, so the first thing I did was I quartered up this squirrel. I got in nice pieces here. 
I took the ribs off, as you can see. They say the back. This part is the best part of the squirrel, so I'm excited for that. And I just made up a simple um, coating. I'm going to first coat in flour, okay? That will make the egg dredge stick. And then I'll put my final coating on it. Okay, the final coating is just gonna be flour. And then I mixed in Montreal steak seasoning and a bunch of this Danos. Darcy was sponsored by them for a time and they gave us a ton of this stuff, so I'm just using it up. All right, so let's dive right in. I got the pieces here. And again, it's gonna be in the flour first. Okay, and then in the dredge. Oh, let me get this all out of the way a little bit so you can see better. And then in here, nice. And then in the, into the final mixture. Oh, I need a plate to put it on. And I'm gonna be frying it up in some peanut oil on a beautiful, uh, that beautiful pan you guys got me a long time ago, cast iron skillet. I was gonna put it in the fryer. I use my oven temperature thermometer when I heat the oil up in the frying pan and that tells me that it's the right temperature, which is three, about 350, okay? So that's all preheated. So let me just finish these up and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got them all done real quick. Having a little land shark for lunch here with my lunch here. And before I put this in, I just want to remind you guys, holidays are coming up. I know we're going to be a pain. Check out Darcy's website, darcyslofshore.com forward slash shop. She has all the jewelry, all the apparel coming in, uh, the necklaces, the eight by tens, the candles, all that great stuff. Let's get right to it. Again, as I mentioned, this is peanut oil heated to about 350 degrees. Let's party. Woohoo, that's hot. Oh, that's working, isn't it? I like to turn the timer on for just about everything. <laughs> I like to turn the timer on for just about everything so I can tell what's going on for the future. Oh, it's cooking quick. I need tongs. All right, guys. I'm just doing two minutes. I think they're really small and they cook super fast and it might even be a little overcooked. I'm gonna put them on this nice rack over here, which we love to do with fried food. I'm gonna let them cool down a little bit. And then we're gonna get ready for the taste test. You gotta taste it. Let's go, Sizzle. How's it? <laughs> I'm not telling you how it no, is before we start. No, you gotta taste it for the you camera. Gotta tell yes. Me. yes. No, you gotta taste it for the camera. Oh, no. What? I got a cut under there. I think I might have broke the scab. Oh, you'll be okay. All right, this is the best part. What is that? It's the back. The back strap. You just bite into it? Yeah, it's like a chicken wing. I don't know why I'm so freaked out to do this. It's cooked. Yes, I did. As a chef, I did test the cooking. No. It's really not bad. Your meat looks pretty good. Yeah. Like, I'm not, yeah. Kind of like a chicken. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like a chicken wing. Look at the meat. It's really white. I mean, I totally tried some. Hmm. Actually, it's not good. I mean, it's not bad. No. I put the, I put some good coating on it. I mean, it, it's good. It's yeah. Good. I think next time we'll do like some really fancy squirrel meal. But, you know, for the first time or anything, we like to just taste it. Hmm. Yeah. That's good. You got a piece of cartilage. That's okay. That's what we get when we have wings. You can eat that cartilage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, that's really not bad. I'm going to taste your good that piece. That was actually really, that was not as scary as I thought it was going to be. I think it's better than chicken wings. You like it? Yeah, it's fine. It's freaking really good. Yeah. Wow. All right. All right, guys. That's about it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. Drop a comment down below if you like this type of content. And until our next adventure, follow Buy your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. I had a, I had, it was a land shark Where's in case you had to wash it down. Where's mine? That's, you can have that one. I was too busy cooking and not drinking. <laughs>